James Pine mouthpieces. Uh, they have a, a glowing reputation and a cult following. Um, I want you to notice how different the blanks are to the right. Those are Babbitt blanks. The one to the left is very interesting, and it's my favorite pine I've ever played. Now, I'm a Shedvel guy. I like thin tips, close tip openings in general. A very focused uh, sound. Uh, this is a Rafo blank. Pine. S plus. Now what's so very interesting about this is how very thin the tip rail and side rails are. This to me plays in, in many ways like uh, actually an M you know 14. Uh, this is about a 1.07 um, but it feels more like a 1.01 or 1.02. Uh, it's very easy to play and just does not remind me, if I heard somebody play this, I wouldn't necessarily think they're playing a pine mouthpiece based off the players that I know and admire that play pine mouthpieces. Um, the, uh, the throat is symmetrical, uh, and there's some stuff going on with the baffle. Uh, it reminds me very much, in a lot of ways, of my own reshed valve. Again, partially, that thin tip rail is just uh, a, a kind of an anomaly for what I see for pine mouthpieces. This is more typical of what I see. Pine Clarion, M, and that that's the Babbitt style thick tip rail that I'm used to seeing on uh, the pine mouthpieces that are popular today. And the sound of these two mouthpieces, these two couldn't be more different. Um, more of an A-frame. I see that on some Babbitt and Arbor uh, Caspers. Uh, and a similar t type of baffle, um, though a bit more scooped in. Um, the baffle is really great. The interesting thing, though, is the uh, asymmetricality of these facings. What's interesting about this one is this one is not asymmetrical at all. Um, from from what I see, and this is also a Babbitt. And again, you notice the chonky, in my opinion, chonky tip rail. Now, compared to a BD-5, that's sleek and slender. Um, and these kind of do, uh, in some ways, get kind of a BD-5 sound. Not the early one, but these, uh, these, these Babbitt ones definitely do. Same kind of throat as the second one, same kind of baffle. These are powerful players. That being said, I admire the efficiency of the much closer tip opening. And uh, this is like a Porsche when I, when I drive it with those thin tip rails. It's just, there's so much more ringing sound. Now, up close, these sound darker. But as the darking, uh, darkening of the sound just from the reed not responding as efficiently uh, due to the asymmetrical facing. Well, that's an argument for another day, but let's listen to how these sound. <laughs> 